All right, let me try. Let me try to get a good. Let me try to get a good clip. <clears throat> Eat ass. <laughs> I freaking love this guy. If you don't know Sushi Dragon by now, he's one of the most creative Twitch streamers I've come across in a long time, and he has some of the most complex OBS effects that you're ever gonna see. Also, not bragging or anything, but I got to hang out with him on a stream yesterday, so we're kind of best friends now. I am bragging. I can't possibly break down every effect that he does, but I can do one of the simpler effects that you just saw, which is the freeze frame effect. Which, by the way, I didn't edit any of that out. That was all done live, except for the part where he said, eat ass, because I don't want this video to get demonetized. But I'm not only going to show you how to do the freeze frame effect, I'm also going to show you how you can let your chat activate the effect with things like channel points, subs, hosts, bits, the whole thing. Now, I know there are already videos on YouTube showing how to do this effect, but unless that video was made in the last month or so, it's probably using an older, clunkier method, which frankly, I don't really like. I'm going to be showing you a newer method that is not only way, way easier, but it's also much less resource intensive on your PC. What's up, guys? It's Before we get started, if you guys like this video, that's great. Good for you. So here's how this video is going to work. We're going to start off by going through how to set up your basic freeze frame. Then we're going to talk about how you can implement this freeze frame for funny memes or whatever you want. Then we'll end by showing you how to let your chat activate the freeze frame. But we can't do any of that without a little bit of setup. So what are we going to need? First off, we're going to install two OBS plugins. And because we're installing plugins, this isn't gonna work with Streamlabs OBS. So if you use Streamlabs, I'm sorry. I know this is terrible news, but you'll get through this, Jeffrey. I believe in you. I've linked both plugins that you need down below, but the first plugin you need is the freeze filter plugin. You wanna download the Win64 zip file and then unzip that file where your OBS install is. The other plugin you'll need is the StreamFX plugin. Now, we don't really need this. We've talked about StreamFX a lot on this channel, but StreamFX adds a lot of features to OBS, and there's one feature in particular we're gonna need a little bit later, so keep that in mind. To save time, I'm gonna go ahead with the assumption that you guys already know how to install plugins, but just in case you're are unaware i've done two videos on obs plugins so go watch those i'd go in a little bit more depth on how to do that once you have both those plugins installed just open up obs and now you can just right click on any source you want let's just say your webcam you can right click on it go into filters and then you'll see an extra filter here that's been added called freeze once you've added the filter your camera will completely freeze and then if you turn the filter off then your camera will come back to normal there are a few options there's not that many of them but the most important option there is the duration so if you set the duration to let's just say 5000 milliseconds then what that'll do is when you enable the freeze filter it will automatically unfreeze itself after five seconds and you'll even see that because the filter will automatically turn itself off there will also be options for a activate action and a show action and to be honest with you i don't really know the difference between these two things but basically if you set these to enable freeze then when you activate your camera source or let's just say you switch to a scene that has your camera source then it's going to activate the freeze filter. And same thing with the hide action and the disable freeze. You'll, you'll see what I mean if you just play around with it. And the last thing is if you go into your settings and go into hotkeys, you'll see a new hotkey added for the freeze filter underneath where your camera is. I thought that was important to mention because if you own something like a stream deck, one of the things you can't do is you can't enable and disable filters in OBS. So you're gonna have to rely on hotkeys. Like, who do I have to talk to at Elgato to make this happen? Because I would really, really like that feature. Elgato, if you're watching, tweet at me or something so I look like a big deal. But that's basically everything the freeze filter does. So if that's all the information you came for, then have a nice day. But leave the tab open at least so I can milk some ad revenue out of you. What we're gonna do now is go through a couple of implementations of the freeze filter, and then I'm gonna show you how to actually structure your OBS scenes to make it really, really easy and really, really smooth to actually activate the effect. The first example is the Thug Life effect. And this is one that is really, really popular in my stream. So everyone who's been asking me how I do it, this is how I do it. The first couple of steps may be a little bit confusing, especially if you're brand new to OBS, but stick with me because this is gonna make your life a hell of a lot easier if you can understand what I'm saying. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is everywhere that you're using your camera in OBS, I want you to turn your camera into a nested scene. If you don't know what a nested scene is, go and watch my last video because this is a real example of why nested scenes are so useful. So to do this, all you do is create a brand new scene, call it 
camera or something and just throw one single source in it and that would be your camera and just make it full screen then go to everywhere that you've used your camera source and instead of using your camera i want you to use a nested scene which is going to be that scene that you just created if you've done this correctly your scenes should be structured like this in obs but on your viewers end, they're not going to notice a difference at all next we're going to create another scene and we're going to call this one thug life and this scene is going to hold our entire thug life effect on this thug life scene we're going to add a new source called source mirror now you're not going to see this option unless you installed stream effects so this is why we need the stream effects plugin basically the source mirror option is going to mirror any source that you want in obs but the reason we need to use it is because when we apply filters to the source mirror it doesn't affect the original copy so you really really need this now on this source mirror we're going to add a new filter and we're going to add a color correction filter and all we're going to do is we're going to drag the saturation and turn it all the way to zero that's going to make the whole thing black and white after this really simple just grab a few images you know get some thug life glasses get a blunt get the thug life logo get them as image files and just throw them on top of your camera so it looks like you're wearing the glasses and smoking a fat blunt and if you really really want extra street cred then you're gonna need some gangster music so find the most gangster music you can think of you know like tupac dmx kelly clarkson whatever music you want just add it as a media source into this scene then go back to your original camera scene and then inside your camera scene add the thug life scene as a nested scene that's a lot of scenes but it should just look like this. And then the final step is to right click on your thug life scene, go to filters and add a new freeze filter. And the only options you wanna change are underneath the activate action, change it to enable freeze. And then under the deactivate action, change it to disable freeze. And that's it, you're done. All you have to do now is if you have something like a stream deck, you just need to hook up an action to your stream deck to toggle on and off that thug life scene. You don't need to set up anything complicated, no need for multi-action events, just one command. Another example is doing the to be continued meme like at the start of the video like Sushi Dragon did. And that works exactly the same. The only difference is instead of using a black and white filter, I use something called a vintage filter. I'll leave a link to where you can download that plugin down below. But all that does is it adds a new filter in OBS so you can add a sepia tone to your camera. I forgot to mention, you're also going to need the video file that goes along with it. So I'll leave a link to this in the Discord if anyone wants it. But yeah, you're going to need to add this to OBS too. You'll also need to use your macro software. So your stream deck or whatever your stream deck alternative is. You're going to need to have it sync up the freeze point to the music because they don't both start at the same time like it does with the thug life effect. Anyway, the end result, if you've done it right, will look a little something like this. So now that everything is set up within OBS, how do we get chat to activate the effect? We're gonna be using something called Leoran Board. Now, if you don't know what Leoran Board is, you can think of it like a Stream Deck app that runs on your PC, but instead of pushing buttons, it listens to Twitch chat messages, channel points, subs, hosts, anything, and then just it just takes control of OBS. It's amazing. A lot of people have been asking me lately how my OBS is being controlled by Twitch chat. And I'm like, dog, I made a whole video talking about how I did this. I don't know why people aren't watching the video because it's literally the most valuable video that I've ever done in this channel. But I guess the thumbnail I made for it kind of sucks. So that's my bad. And the YouTube algorithm's bad. I'm not going to rehash that video. So please go watch that if you've never seen it before. I'm going to assume that you've used Leoran board before. We're going to use Leoran board to activate the thug life effect that we just created. Create a new button, right click it, and then go to add commands. We're going to add a source change visibility command. And then our scene name is going to be our camera scene. And then our item is going to be the thug life scene that is within that camera scene. And we're going to change the visibility to true. And the second command will be exactly the same, but the visibility will be set to false. And we also want to add a delay to our second command because this will be how long our effect lasts for. This should be pretty straightforward to understand. If you don't know what it means, basically you're toggling on your thug life effect and then a few seconds later, you're turning it off. Then you just need to click done and then right click on the same button again and then go to add Twitch triggers and then you can use whatever triggers you want for bits, subs, channel points, whatever. Again, I'm assuming you already know how to use Leoran board, but if none of that made any sense to you, go watch that video I've already done. It's not terribly difficult to set up. But I think that's 
pretty much everything that I wanted to cover. Those are just my ideas for using this new freeze filter plugin. Feel free to use it in your own streams, but I know you guys are just as creative as I, you know, you guys are more creative than I am. So this is your turn to impress me. I'm always trying to impress you. It's your turn to impress me for once. If you do manage to create something that you think is unique, come join the Discord and jump into the Your Designs channel. Post your clip there. In fact, post anything that you've designed. I'm always blown away by the kinds of things that you guys can come up with. And it's really awesome seeing people share their ideas and not being selfish and just like keeping it to themselves, you know? That's a real dick move. Don't do that, all right? You guys are also welcome to join my Twitch stream. I stream four nights a week and I said four nights a week and not Fortnite a week okay for the random person who's complaining in my comment section being like Fortnite is just bad game i hate it with that being said thank you guys for watching i gotta go i'm gonna go watch some demon slayer right now get it yeah that's right adding some relatability into the video yeah let's see you guys next week